Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Jay Darty from the NAA Corporate Headquarters, bringing you a video demonstration of how to use the Final Expense Mobile Web Grid from NAA University. As you probably know, writing Final Expense products for your NAA clients means that you'll be working with a slightly older set of people. So it's important that when you're in the home that you clearly understand how each of the carriers treats certain health conditions so that you can write the right product the first time with confidence. Um, Gina Hawks, who's the product specialist for NAA University and the Alliance, manages various product grids and cheat sheets for our agents. And these are PDF documents usually that are updated frequently. And I know if you're currently printing these out, it's likely that the copy that you're currently carrying around is out of date. And keeping these papers up to date in your briefcase is a tedious task. So today I'm gonna to show you a better way. This is the mobile version of the final expense underwriting grid. All of these grids will pretty much work the same, so I'm using the final expense grid as an example. This grid works just the, the same on any phone or tablet or any mobile device, and of course your, de your desktop computer. And it's a lot easier to read than the PDFs, and it's easy to use, and it's very easy to access. You'll notice that uh, this grid is separated into a part A and part B. And this corresponds with the Part A and Part B on the final expense applications. And you'll also notice that the page consists of a long list of health conditions. And when you click on a health condition that the client has, the section expands to reveal how each of our final expense products handle that particular health condition. And this is just like using the printed PDF version, but with a couple of advantages. First, it's searchable. Now, it could be difficult to find the particular health condition you want on the PDF or even on this page, and, and some of the health conditions are grouped with other conditions in the list. So you'll want to use the built-in search capability of your mobile browser. And in this case, I'm using the default Safari browser on an iPhone. So as an example, let's say you have a client that has muscular dystrophy. So you want to search for that on the page, and you just click the search area at the top of the page, just like you're going to do a regular internet search, and you enter M-U-S-C. Now, below the search suggestions that the phone gives you, you'll see the words on this page. And this is a really well-hidden feature of Safari, but if you scroll down the list of suggestions, you'll see an option to find M-U-S-C on the page that you're currently on. So you click that, and you'll return to the page and your search phrase will be highlighted. And as you can see, I've got one listing in part A. And if I click the right arrow, it will take me to the next listing, which is in part B. Now, if you're on an iPad, you, if you have a data plan and you can use the internet while you're not on a Wi-Fi network, well, it works very much the same way. You can search up in the search bar, just like you do on an iPhone, or on an iPad, you actually have the option of just using the Find On Page feature in the middle of the screen here, which makes it a little faster to find. And when we built this, we did want you to be able to easily access it like it is an app. And that's why on an Apple device, when you first access the page, you'll see this message pop up. And it's telling you how to add the page to your home screen. If you click this button here and select Add to Home Screen, and then you click Add, you'll see that an icon has been added to the device's list of apps. And if you do this, you'll be able to get to it very quickly. Now, if you don't have a data plan with your tablet and you can't browse while you're on the road, well, you'll have to use that printable version, the PDF version, like you've always done, and you have to take it with you in the home. And those can be found in the advanced resources of NAA University. But with this mobile version, you're guaranteed to have the most up-to-date version right in the palm of your hand. So you want to use this if you ever have the option to do so. Now, before you do any of this, you have to know where the page is. So I'm going to tell you how to find it. In order to get to the final expense grid or any of the underwriting grids, you just do this. First, you go to NAAUniversity.com. Then you click on Step 3 to get to our resources page. And from here, you look for the link to our underwriting grids. You click on that icon. And then on this page, you'll see a list of our underwriting grids. And right now, we just have the final expense listed. So click that, and then you're there. Now, like I mentioned, be sure to add this page to your home screen so you don't have to go through all that again. You can just launch it straight for your phone. And with that, 
I'll close the video. I hope you uh, find this tool helpful and you're able to be more efficient with your work. All of us at the NAA Corporate Office wish you the very best in your NAA business. And for more helpful resources like this, be sure to check out our website at NAAUniversity.com. <laughs>